All right, guys, let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. Let's go ahead and create our delete information link and create that JavaScript that we talked about in the last video. So let's go ahead and open up our edit underscore info dot PHP page and scroll down to the submit button and let's go ahead and write some code to uh, create the button. And first thing I want to do is I want to create some non-breaking spaces. And where do we want to input this? Here is, okay. Da, 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 yes over here okay right here I already had some comment written in there for it okay so I'm gonna drop down that drop down a couple of lines right there and let's go ahead and give it those non-breaking spaces I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste two of these right here uno dos drop down let's go ahead and create our a ref and for the most part this is just gonna be HTML so let's go ahead and Again, I apologize for being the worst speller in the history of the world. Delete underscore information. What was our page called? Information. And we will dot PHP. And in here, text message. Let's see if you can help me move on Saturday. Jason Scott. Can't help you, Danny. Okay. Um, where were we? Okay, let's go ahead and just type delete information. Let's go ahead and close it out. Let's reload it. There it is. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our PHP. So, it's right after here. You might want to drop down a line. I'm going to do it all in the same line though. So, just PHP question mark info equals now we have to create some PHP now I will drop down a line or two and I will just go ahead and close my PHP tag out right there that look correct yeah okay so what we need to do is we need to write echo and don't forget echo because if you don't forget if you do forget echo this is not gonna work and our ULN code and we're our variable is cell Table one. We're not closing it out because we need an index. Nope, sorry about that. ID right there. Now we can go ahead and close out. Let me look at this really quick. Let me consolidate this code. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and reload this. Go ahead and click on random and let's try to delete it and see what happens. Call undefined to redirect. No, this should work. Let's go from the top. No, vp.com. Okay, so random is gone. It is outside of our database. And let's let's deal with that JavaScript. My cookies wasn't set in, so just go ahead and go from the top. Go to your uh, localhost forward slash vp so forward slash content dot php and we just went ahead and created some php to delete uh, one of our menu items which we had random here pretty much for the whole series and we just went ahead and deleted it now let's go ahead and create that javascript that we were talking about in the last video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and right before our delete information right here let's go ahead and type in some code and if you're not familiar with javascript this is an on click. That means if we click on this, we're going to get a JavaScript pop up. Job on click is a JavaScript event handler. I have a video on those. It's like on load, on mouse rollover. So if you click on something or roll your mouse over something, something's going to happen. Or on load is a common one. So if you ever go to a website and you see like a slideshow that immediately just starts going when the page renders, that was set to a JavaScript event handler of on load but we're not using that one we're doing on click and this could be capitalized or lowercase as well kinda of weird like that and let's go ahead and return confirm let's go ahead and just write our do you really want to do this question mark
ahead and what are we missing here? Semicolon, a semicolon, and quotation. And I think we're missing an greater than sign. There it is. Okay, so let's save that. Let me look at this really quick. I'm going to pause the video. This should work. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go to our services right here and let's click delete information. And there's our JavaScript pop up. Do you really want to do this? Not really. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel. So we just combined PHP with JavaScript to create a little bit of security. All right, guys. Well, good luck with this. And uh, let's go. Let's jump into a whole nother chapter of our CMS right now where we're going to worry about our pages. So I'll see you guys over there.